Welcome to the Sanctuary, aka my studio, aka my bedroom. Um, this is literally where all the magic happens. The editing, the gaming, um, this is like my safe space and that's why I've taken great care of this place and trying to make sure that it looks so nice um, on video and in real life. Because yeah, because I literally spend 24-7 here because I work from home and I'm always editing and I'm a homebody. So you know, I gotta make sure that this place is perfect for me. Anyway, let me show you around. So when you walk in, you're in this like kind of big open space. This wasn't always here. I've moved so much stuff around my room um, this past year, trying to find like the perfect um, layout for this and for shooting. And out of like the eight different iterations, I think like this is the best spot because I kind of get this whole open space to kind of film. And my bed's over there to the wall. It's a massive queen size bed and I can just be like cozy all the way in that corner. But yeah, I like that I have like an open space here because I would normally set up like the tripods here or like the big studio lights. And yeah, I'm able to like get this like full standing mirror and just like this full standing view of it just so I can check out my fits, you know, when I'm getting ready. Now, let me show you over to like where I spend most of my time. And it is in this spot where I spend most of my time. You'd think I'd spend most of my time on my desk. Um, I'd actually spend so much time here just playing Apex. I freaking love Apex. Yeah, this PS5. Um, don't have much games in here. I've got a few games, but literally all I play is Apex Legends. I just grind that. But yeah, and a lot of my stuff is from Ikea. So this is from Ikea, this is Ikea. Um, the cabinet's from Ikea, but this is pretty much just where I store random storage, uh, a few cables, a few, like the PS5s, the Nintendo Switch, random trinkets, um, games over there. And then I've got this awesome poster of like my idol, Kobe Bryant, that's from Will from Instagram. Link is over here, but like, it's amazing. Like, I I'm tempted to like buy the rest of his stuff, but then I'd have like Michael Jordan, <laughs> Kobe, LeBron, like all over my room, which is a bit like, which is overkill, but they're the goats. And then over here is like the wardrobe, the changing area. So I've got like my clothes there. Again, this rack is from Ikea. I actually saw this in Ikea Philippines. I was almost gonna buy it there, but then I was like, it's gotta be in like Ikea UK. It wasn't until like, I think a couple months after we got back. And then I was like, yep. I have to have it, but yeah, it pretty much fits all of my shirts and all my jackets. And then over here, we've got like this kind of like built-in wardrobe. My dad DIY'd this. Uh, just got more shirts, more jackets, more jumpers, and then more IKEA shelving just to put more clothes. But yeah, not much to see here. There's a room tour, not an OOTD tour, but yeah, that's my clothes. Now this area here is basically the camera gear area. If you saw the previous video, this is where all my gear is. It's my gear cabinet. Ever since I've seen this in IKEA, I've wanted it for like almost two years, but Ah, it was so expensive that I didn't really pull the trigger until this year and it's definitely the best investment ever and This shelf is just kind of like the larger gear like the studio lights the mist machine a framed photo of Casey Neistat commented on my TikTok video and on top You've got books the Rick Rubin book that everyone's been reading. Um, I've yet to finish it I still need to carry on but I just haven't found time to read this one's the kinfolk travel book This is one of the most, most aesthetic books that I've ever seen so I'm gonna move this to a coffee table when I do move out. Oh, and, and an update that I've made to the gear closet since that video is I've added these like lights and there's motion control too. So now I can actually see what's inside my cabinet um, before I had to like use a phone flashlight to kind of check around. Yeah, that's like neat little upgrade. Minor, but it goes a long, long way. So if you wanna watch that video, the link is over here. I haven't really got much gear since then, so not much difference. Oh, and another thing I love about this cabinet is like, these can be locked with like this card, this like NFC card. So it can be secure. So I have like some of my like nice, I guess. Some, sometimes I just leave laptops in here, a couple cameras, my Oculus Quest 3. I need to do a video on these because these are amazing. So I might like do an editing session while in VR, which is a pretty cool concept. I've actually got so much gear, like all my gear is in here. I have to put stuff under the bed. Let me show you. But yeah, just because I've got so much gear and I don't really have a place to put it, I put all of my like, tripods, my C stands, the extenders, um, the backdrop stands under the bed, so that's there to like easily grab. Yeah, right now, that's all that's under the bed. Just tripods, the C stands, so much nicer. But now let me show you to what a lot of people want to see is like the best setup, my workspace, literally where I do all of my editing and my nine to five. All right, so this is the desk setup. Um, I've done a previous video of this like, I think a year or two ago so the desk itself hasn't been upgraded it's still like the ikea edison desk but actually since that video i've actually changed the worktop tabletop to the same line but this time in a walnut finish instead of a concrete finish just because i thought like a wooden walnut finish was like so much better and also since then i've got a 49 inch monitor this time around uh it was an upgrade for my 34 inch huawei but then i saw that this lg 49 
inch ultra wide was on sale unlike the samsung odyssey 49 inch which is like i feel like just too curved for my liking um but this one's a bit more subtle so i really like this and of course the recent upgrade that i had to get was the benq uh monitor light bar this is amazing i've always wanted it but i as you saw in a previous video i finally pulled the trigger because it went on sale and the mic that I use that everyone always asks is the Logitech Blue Sonar Microphone. Um, it's their collaboration. And I love this one, um, just because look how nice and neat that it looks. And this is connected to the Elgato low profile mic arm. Um, I used to have the ones that kind of like was overhead, but I found that kind of like was flimsy and just like looked out of place. But yeah, this is clean and I can easily fold it in. So to save more space. Audio interface that I'm using is the Elgato Wave XLR. Um, I love this. Again, I went for this just because it looks so clean. And then the peripherals I use are the Logitech's MX series. Um, so I've got the MX Master 3 and the MX Master Keys. Um, full, the full width one, I, I can't I can't live without a numpad. And more audio stuff, the headphones that I use personally are the Sony XM4s. And then the order that I use is the PreSonus Eris, I think, 3.5. Um, so yeah, these are like the audio monitors that I use. Um, these are really good. I wanted the audio engine ones, but I thought they were like kind of pricey. Uh, and a lot of people said this is like almost comparable. Oh, and this right here is the DaVinci Speed Editor for DaVinci Resolve. Like this came free when I brought DaVinci Resolve. Um, so I used it for like the first month. But to be honest with you, I don't use this much often because I think this used to work mostly for like the cut page. Um, there are recent um, updates that it works more seamlessly with the edit page. Um, but color page that this keyboard is basically unused. So if only Blackmagic hit me up and send me like a big color keyboard, that would be amazing. All right, more organization wise, this is the Idison um, drawer. Again, I love the Idison series from Ikea. So the desk under frame is Idison. This cabinet's Idison and the cabinet with my gears also Idison, just in a different color. Oh, and on top of that, which I updated recently and which I'm, again, another thing that I've really wanted for a while is the Ikea Sonos Collab. So this is like a Sonos speaker and a lamp at the same time, which is pretty cool. Um, it just looks good. It looks um, it looks expensive. Well, it is expensive. I think it was like 299 for this light, but Sonos sound is unmatched. So I use that a lot when I'm just listening to music. And now let me get to my PC and show you the specs. All right, so my main machine is actually a Windows PC that I built. I love building PCs if you didn't know that about me. Um, I used to be pretty big on RGB, so I used to have like a proper light up PC, but then I realized I'm over it. Like there's that phase when you're kind of like over the RGB phase. So this time around, I just got a minimal NZXT case, just in all black with the ventilation front. Um, no RGB whatsoever inside apart from the graphics card. So my graphics card is actually a NVIDIA 3080 Ti founders edition. So I really love this. CPU wise, I've recently switched to the Intel i9 13900k i believe it was called then i've got 128 gig of like memory of ram um these are ddr5 sticks from corsair but yeah, as you can see no rgb whatsoever also i have this on the floor just because i actually used to display it on the desk a lot but then i realized it just took way too much room and it's just this big black box that's just a bit out of place so i've got like wheels on it just so it's not on the floor and collecting dust Speaking of dust, this is pretty dusty, so I may need to like dust this um, this weekend. And yeah, this is a powerhouse. I'll leave more of the specs right here. It's a beast of a PC. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the room tour. Um, I think this is like the final iteration. Honestly, like if you know me and if you follow me a while, my room changes like every two to three months, especially the desk space. Um, but I feel like this is the most optimal um, space setup right now. And I think I've got everything that I've wanted um, that was on my wish list. So I probably won't be doing a new room tour for a good while until I move out. And then that's just gonna be a full on house tour and just constant renovations and constant changes. So I'm actually looking forward to that um, just so I can work on a bigger space and maybe like eventually have my own studio. And then we'll have like a proper studio tour and not just like a studio slash bedroom tour. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the room. Thank you for watching and keeping up. I'll probably do more tech and product stuff in the future and show you kind of like my monthly favorites. And yeah, just to share some inspiration for your own workspaces, which by the way, send them to me, send me pictures. I love workspace videos because I, I honestly get inspired seeing everyone's desk set up. But yeah, that's it for the room. Good night. 
Zaka 